Bizzle 120. Wow, what has happened for the last couple of hours? Buzz Factor Episode 8. Yes, we've been going for two months already. I can't believe that Review Hunt's been... We waited... Felt like we waited so long for a Review Hunt to happen, even though it was only probably about three or four months of, like, hardcore coding. And then when it happened, it kind of, like, all happened at once. And then for the last, maybe, I don't know, two or three weeks, gone, kind of quieted off as the team has gone and done more stuff on Steam Hunt. Changed the calculation from 100 to 50. I think that's probably having some effect. I don't know, maybe the people who use bot farms are just trying to make more money from the top 50 instead of the last 100. Who knows? Um, I've titled this The Only Time I'll Be in the Top 1.98% of Anything and Also Don't Sleep on Referrals. So, I haven't seen any new companies on review hunt in the last couple of weeks and i think that's because the team is eagerly working on either relationships or features or just outreach to startups to get them onboarded and get them up to date on the platform maybe they're reviewing their kind of uh, pdf documents and just having interesting conversations behind the scenes i'm sure with a lot of different people and hopefully those are bearing fruit and we will hear about them very very soon um Today, I wanted to quickly go over the numbers again since last week. We still have $10,000 in the kitty. So if you are a brand advocate, influencer, know somebody on YouTube who's really, really good, who's got like hundreds of thousands of followers, reach out to them, use your affiliate code to bring them to the platform. There's a couple of um, campaigns on there still available to do. The Mosaic one and I think the uh, Crypto Wallet one. I can't remember what it is right now. There's a few on there anyway, and there's still like a kitty of $10,000 to go at. So if they want to earn some crypto, for the maybe for the first time, then I've kind of put some instructions in this blog post today about getting an account over on Steam Hunt. Even though Review Hunt only needs a email and password, it's probably a good idea to get people to get a Steam account. And they can do that through steamhunt.com by going to the top right, clicking on sign up. And as long as you've got a mobile phone, you can actually just drop that in there. You get a text message to verify it, and then it builds your account out. You have to get a username, pick a username that's not already out there. And then you get sent, or you see on screen, like four different passwords. And even though that seems overwhelming, you don't really need all of those passwords, but you need to store them securely. The posting one is probably the one that you're going to be using the most on Steam Hunt. And it's a good idea to get it all linked up, because once you do sign up on Review Hunt with an email and password, you're going to use your Steam account to connect the two together. So anything you do over on Steam Hunt in terms of hunting products, the wallet and earnings and everything that you earn on there is also automatically synced with Review Hunt and back and forth. So they're completely in sync all the time. There is a benefit on the Review Hunt one in that it shows you the dollar value of your, your wallet balance of hunt tokens, which is kind of nice to be able to see at a glance how much they're actually worth. Although I wouldn't bother selling them at the moment because it's kind of low bitcoin's low because of backed because of backed uh so there's 10k in a kitty so do tell people about that we've had 1338 hunters through the doors in eight weeks which is pretty amazing and we blasted through the total that i saw last week i didn't mention it last week because we hadn't hit it i was hoping that we would hit 10 million uh potential audience audience followers last week uh, we didn't quite get it, so I glossed over it and didn't talk about it. And yet this week, we've gone to 12 million. So literally within, uh, I think, 14 days, well, literally in two, day, uh, two weeks, somebody with a big following, I don't know who that is, has signed up and had to play around with this and then sent that out across their social media. So I'm kind of interested to know who those people are. Maybe they can do a Steam blog post about it. Maybe they're not even interested in Steam. Maybe they just signed, signed up with their... Uh, email address and uh, just wanted to test out what crypto influencing looks like uh, the other thing that i put on this is going to be a quick one today because we haven't got any new campaigns to discuss and talk about but i wanted to talk about referrals referrals are your friend make it grow uh, my expectation of what review hunt was going to be um, kind of changed when i found had a conversation with p7 project 7 and didn't realize that we were only focusing on kind of or it seems like only focusing on brand new startup companies who just want that early traction. I was kind of hoping that it would be also applicable to companies that have been around for like a year or two that are doing pretty well, but they're not really doing marketing. They're just like moving product. 
and would actually like to build a community at some point or want to do another Kickstarter campaign at some point, but don't necessarily have a community. They just have people that they sell product to, which is great. You've got a business, you're making money, fantastic. But to get people on side for Kickstarters, you really need a community of avid followers who are just like, can't wait for your next thing to launch. Uh, and also taking feedback from that community about features in the product that is missing or could be done could be done better, fixed. Um, so I was kind of hoping that Review Hunt would be a catalyst for that as well. So that we could reach out to these companies who products are already like and say, hey, your product's amazing. Any chance that we can do some kind of product launch or review show or live stream thing? Um, and then I started thinking, well, maybe if I became a maker and be became the concierge and then I felt like a middleman, I was like, no, it doesn't kind of work. So I'm kind of now excited for Idea Hunt in terms of making my own product and sending that out to like 100 people and getting their feedback and then iterating that way um, to prove it, I guess. And then we can maybe re, re come back around to Review Hunt and if I can prove that whole idea because obviously I don't vocalize it very well, then um, maybe we can do that on Review Hunt. There's, there's a bunch of companies that I would love to bring to Review Hunt that aren't startups or brand new, just wanting to get that early traction is what I'm saying. But um, use your referral code absolutely everywhere on social media, on YouTube, on Twitter. There's no reason why you can't make adverts on YouTube about Review Hunt and put your affiliate code in there. Maybe wrap your affiliate code in a custom code and put it on the bottom of your like 30 second advert. It's very, very cheap to run adverts these days on Twitter, YouTube, and even Facebook. And I don't know about Instagram. I don't know how expensive Instagram is, but I'm sure you'd be able to get into that influencer market a little bit. And that's it really for this week. I just wanted to give a shout out, build some consistency into doing these weekly. I would like to expand the Buzz Factor show to maybe have like four people on, on a video chat once a week um, discussing maybe three startups that we should reach out to and build their campaign for them live in the video chat but uh, I just haven't done that because of hardware and not having the right sort of technology and not having the right kind of like internet connection so I've kind of put that on the side but at some point I want to do that I think it could be hugely valuable uh, and would make a show in its own right which would be perfect then for steam casting obviously which is way back on the back burner at the moment all right I will catch up with you soon if you're not on review hunt yet do get on Review Hunt. I'm out of focus, probably because my finger going in and out like this is putting it off. Um, I will catch up with you next week. You have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye. Drifting.